This Amber Jubilee nine barks in a tight little corner. Large shrub if you let it go up to eight to 10 feet. Now we cut this back further than I've ever cut it back before. And it was a cold spring. So man, it took its time. And I was a little bit nervous that we were gonna lose some of the main canes, but boy, once we started getting into that summer heat, we've got some of the beautiful new colors coming on. Look at that yellow and orange on the new growth. Here's a closer look at the process of pruning back this shrub. About five months ago, back in mid-March, we did what's called rejuvenation pruning. That's removing the majority of the top new growth and letting the shrub start completely over with fresh new growth. Now it's important to remember that you should only do this process when the plant is dormant. March and April are my favorite months in the area of the Northern Plains that we live to do this process. Nine Bark's one of those shrubs that'll tolerate an incredible amount of severe pruning and that new growth is where you're gonna get the most vibrant leaf colors. We're using the hand pruners and the loppers for the majority of the process here. You'll notice we've taken this shrub back from about five feet down to 18 inches. Some of the growth has been here a little bit longer, going into that rich green with some purple hints. This shrub picks up aphids almost every year and I leave them. They don't seem to cause any twisting or distorting. We'll go ahead and let the ants and the aphids team up and do their thing, but boy, what a shrub. And this is the thing about nine barks. If you cut them back, you're gonna get that beautiful new growth. The only thing you sacrifice by cutting them back hard, you don't get that white flowering in the spring. So year after year, this nine bark has no problem with a heavy haircut. And about four months ago in mid-April, we pruned back these four summer wine nine barks. We took off about half the growth, maybe a little more. Now, once again, it's best to make sure your shrub is dormant before you do a heavy pruning like this. You'll notice the one on the left is already completed. We normally start with a tool called the loppers. It's a great tool for larger canes as it's got more leverage for cutting. You don't have to be real specific. At first, when you make the cut, we're mostly looking to just get close to our finished shape. Then you can switch over to the head shears and do some fine tuning and clean it up a little bit with the hand pruners. When it's all said and done, we've got a cleaned up shrub ready to break dormancy. And look at these summer wine nine barks. Jeez, look at the size of these. This is the same year. This is three to four months ago. We must be pushing six feet of growth on these. And we're gonna leave them this big. It's almost a little bit taller than I wanted them since they're gonna start shading out that North Pole Arborbitee. But now we're gonna let those flower buds set for next year. And with this arching vase-like habit, we're gonna get a beautiful show of white flowers on these. We're hoping to get two to three years before we have to cut it back pretty hard again. But that's what nine barks do. They tend to get a bunch of that dead growth, just a rich purple on the summer wine nine bark. And if you don't have the room or just looking for a little bit smaller option in the nine barks, there are some great alternatives. Tiny wine is a smaller version of the summer wine. Everything's smaller about it. A little bit smaller leaf, smaller size, only gonna get about three to four feet. And Little Joker, another great small option if you're looking for that. I would say even smaller leaves on this, but still we can get to that three to four feet. And one final option for you on the nine barks is tree form. This is something that's been trained as a tree, not grafted. So you could do this yourself quite easily, taking a shrub and just pruning it down to one stem. But the tree forms, they offer a nice little interesting tree in the landscape for sure. And if you're interested in watching the full pruning of the summer wine nine bark and the amber jubilee, take a look in description and you can get the links for those videos. Thanks again for watching Garden Hike. We'll see you again next time.